Hi boys and girls. For my read aloud this week, I'm going to be reading The Minosaurus, and it's by Sudipta Barden Quallen, illustrated by David Clark. So Sudipta is the author, she wrote the words, and David is the illustrator. He drew the pictures of Minosaurus. One morning, before Mrs. Raptor rang the bell, the dinosaurs were playing in the schoolyard. All of a sudden, they heard a roar. Mine, mine, mine. Oh, no, muttered the Stegosaurus. Here comes the Minosaurus. He snatched the jump rope and the ball. He threw the cards against the wall. And then he roared to one and all. Mine, mine, mine. Iguanodon said, that's not fair. Triceratops said, you should share. But the Minosaurus yelled, I don't care. They're mine, mine, mine. Right then the bell rang and the Minosaurus hugged the toys and sighed. All mine. You're late, Mrs. Raptor said when the Minosaurus finally came to class. Now you'll have to paint your project during snack time. By the time the Minosaurus finished, snack time was in full swing. The Minosaurus rushed on ahead. He snatched the scones and strudel bread. He bit the butter tarts and said, they're mine, mine, mine. That's our food, said Adeptosaurus. No, it's not, cried Minosaurus. And soon there was a tug of war and he wailed, mine. The rest of the class can go out to recess, Mrs. Raptor said. You will stay here until you clean up this mess. The Minosaurus scowled a bit in the, into a scone. At least the food's all mine, he grumbled. But the feast wasn't as much fun when it was made for one. At recess, the Minosaurus saw the other dinos having fun building a tower. His arms were flailing all around. The tower tumbled to the ground. He grabbed a bunch of blocks and frowned. They're mine, mine, mine. How could you, yelled Iguanodon. It's wrecked now, Pterodon. The Minosaurus said, oh, come on, these blocks are mine. The dinos rolled their eyes. Finally, Triceratops said, let's go, guys. I don't need them anyway, said the Minosaurus. I'll build a better tower myself. Look at this, he shouted. The biggest tower ever. But there was no dino around to hear. At the other end of the yard, the rest of the dinos were laughing and playing. They didn't seem to miss the Minosaurus at all. The Minosaurus began to shake. There's nothing left for me to take. No toys at all, for goodness sake, and they don't care. The Minosaurus wanted to laugh and play too, so he gathered up all the stuff that was his and headed toward the dinos. The Minosaurus asked, want some snacks? The other dinos turned their backs. I brought the blocks for us to stack. Come on, let's share. The Minosaur tried saying, please, I even brought some toys. I'll give you these. The dinos stared down at their knees. They just didn't care. Okay then, said the Minosaur. He put all the stuff down. You guys should play. The dinos looked at each other. Isn't this your stuff? Asked Stegosaurus. The Minosaur shook his head. He shouldn't have taken it. The Minosaur was walking when he heard the dino shout, wait. They said, we want to play with you. Said Minosaur, you really do? The dinos nodded. Yes, it's true. If you'll share, it's fine. The Minosaur yelled, it's a deal. I have all the things I want, he squealed. You don't know how this makes me feel, my friends, you're mine. Mine, mine, mine.
line. So it looks like the Minosaur realized, even if you have everything, if you don't have anybody to play with, it's not as fun. So I hope you boys and girls are doing a good job of sharing. If you have younger brothers and sisters at home, have a great day.